What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this brand new 2023 Hyundai Palisade. And the model that we're looking at today is the Calligraphy All-Wheel Drive, finished off in Sierra Burgundy and has an MSRP at $52,000. Underneath the hood of the Hyundai Palisade, you're gonna find a 3.8 liter, naturally aspirated six cylinder engine. This V6 pumps out 291 horsepower with 262 pound-feet of torque, and it's paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Power is sent to the H-Track all-wheel drive system, and with a curb weight around 4,500 pounds, running on an 18.8 gallon fuel tank, you're looking at 19 miles per gallon in the city, with 25 out on the highway. This full-size SUV can even tow about 5,000 pounds. Overall length is 197 inches, with wheelbase at 114.2, Height is 69 inches with width at 78 inches and then ground clearance is 8 inches. And then now moving on to the exterior styling with the 2023 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. This is the fully loaded trim, has every option and a very cool design. We get these massive daytime running lights cutting through the entire front end, they even go through the bodywork. Very unique design and then the headlights are actually in the center of the bumper right here. They are LED and you have the two different beams very neat look and then i really love how when you take a look at this black chrome grill there's actually lights within it if i hit the unlock and lock button you can see your turn signals will pop up within those so it's a very cool design the way they've tinted the actual lens of those lights to make them use as lights and then if we take a look at the grill it's massive you get the hyundai logo a forward facing camera i love the black chrome all of your parking sensors are down below that and you can see more of that black chrome trim all within the lower portion of the bumper. There's a safety sensor right in the center and it really comes together to give this a unique design. There's also really clean lines running through the hood to give this that modern design. I love the way everything comes together to make the Hyundai stand out. Moving our way to the side profile, this gets a set of 22 inch wheels. They're a multi-spoke design finished off in a two-tone color. You can also see one of the parking sensors on the side and some really nice sharp body lines running around this wheel arch. In the lower portion of the side, you can see more of that black chrome trim, a really sharp body line. I just love all the sharp lines and sloping edges you're gonna see. We get body colored side mirrors with an integrated LED turn signal, as well as a camera down below that. Then you can see more of this polished aluminum trim running around all of the windows along with the door handles. We get gloss black for the B and C pillar, and I love how that trim piece cuts through that rear glass. You can also see the roof rails up top and then we get a dual panel sunroof up there. And then taking a look at the entire side profile, this is a full size three row SUV and the lines really do give it a sporty appearance. I love just the way everything comes together. And as we move our way to the rear, you can see how this is all blacked out to make all the glass blend seamlessly. We even get an integrated spoiler up top with a very nice thin LED brake light up top. There's also another camera located up there and then taking a look at the rear end, we get the Hyundai logo and a massive Palisade name written out. We get the H-Track batch over on the right, and then you can see the LED taillights. They have a really nice design, and I like the silver portion in the center has these super thin strips going through them. So I like all the modern touches they've done with the lighting. You can see more of that brushed aluminum trim all throughout the rear bumper with all of your parking sensors and reflectors, and I think the rear end comes together to really complete the styling. So there's a good look at the exterior styling along with some of the specifications for the 2023 Palisade. So this calligraphy, like I said, is fully loaded. If we move to the key fob, we got some really cool features on it. So of course we can lock and unlock it. If I hold down the engine start stop button, of course the V6 engine is gonna roar to life. We also get the smart park system. So you can see the two buttons with P. If I go ahead and hold down the one with the forward indicator, the car is actually going to drive forward. This is really nice if you have this parked and someone parks right next to you. You can easily press the button and drive the car forward. And then of course, holding the other one, it'll start driving in reverse. So you can pretty much use this to assist you parking the car. It is a super cool touch to have in this thing. <laughs> Very cool to drive it with the key fob. And then just stopping it, we can shut off the car by holding down that button. And with the car locked, all I have to do is grab the door handle, it'll unlock, and we can check out this interior. This Palisade gets a full black leather interior with some gloss black and silver trim all throughout it. 
If we take a look at the door panel now, finished off in black, I really love the gloss black with those thin lines. It really has a nice modern luxury touch. We got our memory seating along with the release handle, all of your window controls, lock and unlock and mirror controls. You can see a large grab handle with some soft padding. I like the stitching right there. Then you can see some aluminum mesh for the Harman Kardon audio system, and then a lot of storage down below. We get Palisade written out on the door sill, and then all of your power controls on the left side of the seat. We have the lumbar controls, massage button, then the front and rear. You can even push this forward to extend your leg rest. I really love all the smooth black leather. You get a little bit of contrast piping, perforations in the center as well. And you can see just how nice everything comes together. I love the stitching design up top. Really are luxurious looking seats. And then you get a unique four spoke steering wheel with silver trim. And then now inside the Palisade, keep my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and fire it up. You can see the two massive LCD screens roar to life. And then right in the center, you can see our digital gauge cluster. We get the speedometer on the left side, then your tack over on the right. And a very cool feature, whenever you do the turn signals, you get a side view camera that will come up on the left and the right side. Very easy to use and super nice to have that feature. We also have controls on the steering wheel over on this right side that you can control what you see in the center. Just scrolling up and down in this main screen, you can see a few different things within the car. Then tapping that pages icon, you can scroll through navigation settings, more settings within the car. You can see your torque split for the all-wheel drive system, some safety settings as well, and then back to that main screen. We get the Hyundai logo right in the center, more of the cruise control settings over on the right with your lane keeping and steering assist, along with your distance pacing, cruise control button up top, and then some Bluetooth and audio controls on the left. We do get steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, then your turn signal and headlight stock on the left, and then all of your windshield wiper controls to the right. And I love how whenever you do adjust any of these, it comes up on the screen here to just let you know what's going on. Over on the left side of the screen, we have the interior dimming, a tow mode, as well as traction control, power lift gate, as well as the electronic parking brake. There is a heads up display system right in the center, then all black going across the dashboard. I really love how they've continued that gloss black with these stripes throughout this dashboard. And then if we move our way to the center infotainment, it has a very nice display. Swiping over, you can see all of your different controls. You can go under climate controls and see everything pop up. Very simply, you can adjust your temperature for dual zone, adjust where you'd like everything to go. You can see the flow of everything. Going back, you can see navigation and map. Then a few more controls over on this right side. If I go ahead and put the car into reverse by pressing the button, we get the backup camera on the left and then a full top-down view over on the right side. You can also adjust how you'd like these cameras to look. So pretty simple the way everything is working. And then we get a full 360 camera view. Super easy, you can adjust everything. So it's a really nice touch to have. If I go ahead and put the car into drive now, then you get your front view camera that will pop up. Then we can just tap the P button, go back into park, and it'll exit out of the screen. Underneath that, we have a large air vent area that flows its way all the way over to the passenger side. Then you can see some physical shortcuts down below for your map and radio then a few more audio settings. And then underneath all that are your physical climate controls. I really like how they've done this. This is all touchscreen. You just tap the fan icon to adjust the fan speed, which is super easy, air conditioning, different zones. So I just like how everything is so simple. We have the off button, as well as the front defrost, the recirc, and then the rear. And then below that, we have all of your drivetrain controls, the auto brake hold, and then your drive mode selector. We have several different drive modes as well as the locking differential. And I like how whenever you make this adjust, you can see it come up on the screen with a completely different configuration. So it gets a little bit more sporty going into the sport mode and the sport mode as well. So I just like all that. And when you're in sport mode, it actually adjusts the seat bolsters to hug you a little bit tighter. And then on the right side, we have your downhill assist, some shortcuts, as well as the engine start stop. Then we get heated and ventilated front seats as well as a heated steering wheel and a really cool looking aluminum plastic all throughout this center. And then on this right side, if you just press this button, this will go forward. We get our wireless phone charging and a ton of storage space. And these are very neat. The way the cup holders kind of hide away, then when you want them to come out, you just press the button and they spin right out. So really cool the way everything is laid out. There's also a massive storage area down below that. And then we get our center console right in the center. You get some nice black leather, just grabbing this open. We have a ton of storage space in here as you would expect. And then taking a look at the glove box on the right, pretty large bucket as well. And then one last look at the interior. Nice and modern looking and all of the luxury aspects with the leather and the colors really come together nicely. 
Up top, you can see the dual panes for the sunroof, and we get a really nice looking micro suede headliner. Adds that luxury touch. You can see all the controls for the front glass as well as the rear sunshade, then a few more lighting controls, as well as a spot up front for a mirror that will fold down. And then now moving on to the rear seating, if I go ahead and grab the door handle and open it up, we get all the same colors and designs along this rear door panel, and we even get the addition of a manual sunshade. You can take a look at the seats with all the same material, nice perforated leather in the center and that cool design up top. We even get these really nice pillow top headrests as well as two captain's chairs. There's some storage on the back side of the front seats. Then you get controls for climate controls, heated and ventilated second row. You get some plugs down below that and then right in the center, a little bit of cargo. You can press the button right here. It's gonna slide this all the way forward to get better access into the rear seat space. You can see how easy that is to do, and then you can also grab it and lock it backwards. And with the seat back, you can also grab the recline lever and fold this down, and it'll fold nice and flat. So they're now sitting into the back seat of the Hyundai Palisade. So this is a pretty roomy SUV. The seat reclines a lot, and that headrest is literally like a pillow. But you have so much space back here. Fantastic leg room and headroom as well. I'm 5'11", sitting back here fine. We get LED dome lights up top, along with air vents and then even your grab panels on the far left. That sunshade is very large to really make this feel nice and open. Plenty of legroom and all sorts of different adjustments and then a really good armrest on the left side. And then now sitting into the third row of the Hyundai Palisade. So this has some nice amenities. We do get LED dome lights in the center. You get more climate control vents. And then I really love over on this third side, you can see your heated seat button along with the power sliding. So if I press this button, it's gonna recline it a little bit to make this a little bit more comfortable. It's not that bad. My head is just barely touching the ceiling and then my knees are just barely touching the seat. So it's actually a pretty decently comfortable third row. Honestly, you could sit back here and being captain chairs, you know, you could obviously extend a foot out. So this is actually a pretty roomy SUV. I really love all the sizing you get. And there's even speakers back here as well. And then to move on to the cargo area, I can just hold down the button on the key fob, use the one on the lift gate itself, or of course the one on the interior. And you can see all the storage space you get in the back of a Palisade. You can also see that recline angle in the lower back portion. You can also lift this up and we get a ton of hidden storage space. And then one of my favorite features are all the buttons back here for the second and third row. If I just press these two buttons, they're gonna automatically fold down the third row seating to get them nicely out of the way. You also have the same ones for the second row, just pressing them. You can see how everything gets nice and flat and you get so much cargo area in the back of this SUV. The third row also has buttons you can just press once and they're gonna automatically open back up. All right, so what is it like driving this? To be honest, it's pretty impressive. It's actually a really smooth vehicle. I love all the technology. It works really, really well. So we have the lane keeping, steering intervention, all that kind of thing with the distance pacing on the cruise control, but it works really well. It stays in the lanes without jerking the car around. It does the follow really nicely with other cars and it even kind of lets you go hands-free for quite some time before it tells you to put your hands back on the wheel. So I just like how everything is pretty well balanced in this. Even as we come up to a slower car, the car is slowing down and doing everything it needs to do. But this is really comfortable. I mean, it is so quiet in here. You don't really hear anything going on around. It's just a really nice insulated vehicle. It feels like a luxury trim. And for low $50,000, I feel like this is an absolute bargain. But super quiet and comfortable with the suspension and a great view around. You know, you have a really large windshield, good mirrors and everything to see around. And you can easily see over your left and right shoulder. Not really any blind spots in it. I love how you can see the back there to kind of check on what's going on with anybody that's in the back of this. This is a full size SUV pretty much, so you can fit all sorts of people in the back and just be comfortable. I like the fit and finish. I really don't have many complaints with the driving. So the only kind of downfall I have noticed with the driving of it has to do with just the transmission. I think they could tune it a little bit better. If I go into comfort mode or even sport mode, I feel like it just rings out the gears a lot if you're flooring it. Normal driving, you know, I don't have an issue. It's smooth, it's comfortable, it's everything you would expect. But if I floor it, 
it really redlines the gears and just kind of takes a while to shift. Not many cars really, you know, go to redline if you're only at half throttle semi flooring it. This one kind of really rings it out a little bit. And I think the throttle pedal is a little delayed. When I floor it, there's like a two second delay from when I floor it and when the car floors it. But I wouldn't mind just a little bit more precision with the transmission when you're kind of demanding the car to do something quick. That's the one thing you'll notice with non-performance you know, performance luxury brands. They're just kind of lacking a little bit on the performance side, not to say this is a performance vehicle or anything like that, but it would be nice to see just the transmission react a little bit quicker to what you're doing when you need the car to floor it. Other than that though, I mean, I really have no complaints. It's been really comfortable and smooth to drive. All right, so flipping around to my perspective, let's floor it and get to some speed. All right, that's 45 and up to the speed limit. So like I said, my only complaint is just the throttle pedal, there's some lag. Personally, I wouldn't mind owning one of these. I would install a pedal commander like day one just because, you know, when you really need the car to floor it, now we're flooring it. There's just such a big delay for anything quick that you need to do. So any really quick abrupt maneuvers you gotta do in this, there's just a little bit of delay, which I think they could tune that out a little bit. I noticed sport mode is really nice. The throttle response is pretty much perfect. When you floor it, there's a good, I mean, maybe split second delay, not too bad. The only thing is in sport mode, you don't wanna drive around normally in sport mode because we're holding 4,000 RPM at 50 miles an hour right now. So, you know, sport mode, the transmission is geared towards, you know, being a little bit more aggressive. So I just wish you could get sport mode's throttle response throughout the other drive modes. It would make this driving a lot better. So maybe Hyundai could tune that, just upgrade that a little bit, make it a little bit more responsive. But aside from that, it is really, really impressive. I really wasn't expecting this to be this nice. And the window sticker I have doesn't have the actual price on it. I had to look that up on Hyundai's website to see exactly what it was. And I was thinking under first impressions after driving this for two or three days before I actually looked it up, I was expecting this to be over $60,000. I was pretty comfortable saying if this was 65 grand, it would make sense. But the fact that this is significantly less than that, 52, I am genuinely blown away. I've driven this almost 300 miles already, almost a full tank of gas I put through this before filming this review video. And it's just so easy to drive, so comfortable. We've gone to Ikea in this, we've done some trips in this where we loaded up the back and it is just so effortless. The buttons in the third row area, the cargo area that you can press to lower all the seats, are really nice. It's so convenient to do that, to actually use this. I like the steering assist too. I've driven this with just that on, and I've noticed it's been a really good benefit to make this thing even more easy, uh, less fatiguing, and more comfortable to drive. A lot of our roads are slanted to the right side for water drainage, and something I notice so many times when I'm driving a car, I'm always fighting with it to go straight because every car goes to the right, you know, going into the grass because the road is slanted. Having this steering assist on, it works so well to where I don't need to worry about that. I can turn the steering assist on and on roads that are slanted like that, the car will stay straight and I don't have to keep fighting with it. So the technology it has in it is just enough to make this just nice to drive, but it's not annoying to use. Some of the steering intervention lane keeping is so annoying where it beeps at you all the time and so many things. This works so well. This is one of the best uh, safety settings I think there's out there. I think this and BMW are probably up there in the top. Uh, this is a really, really good system. The way the radar cruise control works, the way the lane keeping works, it just makes it that much nicer. But the ride quality and the fit and finish is what really stood out to me. This just takes it up a notch without going crazy on price. So it is just really, really impressing me. And it just works really well. You know, Warren and I were in this, I think every time I've driven this, she's been in it with me. And we've talked a lot about this kind of car. And this seems like one of the best bang for the buck, luxury full-size SUVs that has pricing that is actually affordable. So this really stood out to us and has been pretty impressive. So my overall review of the newest Palisade, honestly, this is something to buy. If you just want a really nice, feels like a Mercedes, but half the price, this is something to get. Cause it genuinely, if you blocked out the Hyundai logos and asked me what brand I thought this was, I would say it's probably a Mercedes or something European. And I would probably say maybe $80,000. So quite honestly, I think Hyundai knocked it out of the park. This new Palisade has pretty much minimal complaints. It is super nice. If they can just fine tune the transmission software and throttle software, just make it a little bit more responsive, this thing is rock solid. But other than that, pretty impressive SUV. 
So that is then it for the 2023 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy All-Wheel Drive. Well, that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.